everyone welcome to mystic meeks so today we're doing a timeless big card reading and it's asmr so if you guys don't know what asmr is it's pretty much like supposed to be like a calming video where i just like people whisper when they do their videos so um this would be great maybe to watch like before you go to bed just something relaxing um so yeah, today we're gonna see why are you so desirable, and we got three options on the screen, so if you want to take a deep breath in, and let it out, and choose whichever option you feel most called to, and I'll see you guys at your pile. Oh, this is for everyone that chose option one or this image on the screen so today we're gonna see why are you so desirable what makes you what makes people desire you so I did pre-pull the cards and I put them down over here so if I look down that's because I'm looking at the cards but for some of you you could definitely be a cancer sign or you could have water in your chart We have in the seventh house, relationships, get a fair deal, Neptune, inspire others with, be prepared to sacrifice for, yielding is the only way to. So, for a lot of you, I feel like you could be psychic or very intuitive, or at least people feel like you are. They also feel like you're really smart. I feel like people really like enjoy your knowledge so maybe you have knowledge about spiritual things or you have um maybe you went to school or took classes or something and you have knowledge on topics that other people don't know too much about so people like talking to you about it they definitely find people find you to be very desirable because they feel like um, they can talk to you about a lot of things. Um, you're not close-minded, so you're not the type of person to judge someone for, like, their ideas or their thoughts or anything. Like, you're definitely open to, um, seeing, like, new possibilities, new ways. I feel like for some of you, you could be a parent or... Um, you could be definitely in the synergy of, like, like a, a parent kind of energy, so people feel like you're nurturing, too. They, they really like that. Um, this could be, for some of you, your significant other or your children that just love being in your energy. You may also, <laughs> um, like your hugs or like your kisses, I feel like are just very like warm and inviting and like people just want to be close to you physically so this could be maybe a significant other that likes being close to you or this could be like your kids like hugging you or cuddling with you on the couch or something um, but people definitely just love to be in your energy. It's very calming, relaxing. Um, I, I'm picking up, like, people like to be around you after maybe they've had, like, a stressful day. Some of you could be, like, nurses or I'm also hearing, like, a, a CNA. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what a CNA does, but... I think that's a nurse, I'm not too sure, but, um, yeah, people feel like they can come to you, like, when they have issues. Some of you, like, these people may actually enjoy talking to you about their issues, but for others, I feel like just being around you and being in your energy, like, it already starts to relax them, like, they may not even really have to say anything. Um, you could be the type of person that enjoys cooking or baking as well. Something about just the things that you do. Maybe you're really good at like designing your house. Maybe you, maybe you have like really nice 
um, interior or maybe on your bed like you have nice warm blankets or there's something about just like people loving like maybe this is like your clothes too that you wear like you could like wearing like sweaters or like warm clothes um there's just like this really homey inviting kind of energy and people really desire to be in that energy for some of you, you may attract people that um, may have like issues like with their home life, like someone in here, maybe you have attracted people that didn't really have a, <laughs> this is only for a few of you, didn't have a place to live or like maybe their childhood wasn't very good. Maybe they had, like, an unstable childhood. Um, someone could have green eyes as well. Something about holding your hands, too. You have soft skin. Or at least people feel like you would have soft skin. People, like, just really desire to get close to you physically and emotionally because they feel like they'd be safe with you. They feel like they wouldn't have to worry about anything. If this is, like, having to do with a relationship or getting into a relationship, like, your significant other feels like they wouldn't have to worry about you cheating or leaving them or, like, lying to them or anything. They feel like you would just be very loyal and honest. Someone could really like the color pink. Someone may have like pink nails or just like getting their nails done a lot of the time. If you're a masculine, I'm picking up like you're very protective over the people that you love. That's what makes you very desirable as well as the feminine energies too, um, like you'll stick up for the people that you love or you'll do anything for them. Someone on here you could have like done some kind of surgery for someone else, like, like they use something off of your body and put it on someone else, like one of your friends or family or something like that. Try to see if I can see anything else. I'm also hearing that you don't take things for granted, so like, you know when you have a good thing, like you'll take care of it and other people feel like they would have to take care, really good care of you because they wouldn't want to lose you. Um, people also feel like you're very rare to find. You're a rare type of person. Again, I keep picking up this energy of people who may be coming to you when they feel anxious or overwhelmed or just not in a good mood. You may know like the exact thing to do like when someone's feeling down or not. I'm also hearing maybe when someone's sick like maybe you're the type of person that'll like make them soup and like get all the comfy blankets and like <laughs> wrap them up and put on a good movie for them. Like um, or if someone, your significant other is, like, having a bad day, like, maybe you'd go out and, like, buy them flowers and, like, sushi or something, like, you would just do anything to make someone happy or feel better. That, that's what makes you guys so desirable. I feel like you guys, um, someone on here, you could be in a relationship for during four years or the number four could be significant 
but yeah, that's what I'm seeing for pile one. Hope that resonates. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, link is down below. Bye, guys. Tell me what you like about him. You a tart or little thotty, ain't no wife about it. Hi, everyone. This is for everyone that chose pile two or this picture. So clearly, we're doing ASMR. <laughs> and we're gonna see why are you so desirable. So if I'm looking down here, like over here, that's because I have the cards right here laid out. So I'm just gonna read off like what I pick up. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that I was hearing for you guys is what makes you so desirable is that you don't really, <laughs> oh my god, you guys don't really desire others very much, or at least you give off that vibe that you don't really need anyone, you guys could be, You guys could be very independent or you like doing things on your own um you guys could also have a lot of friends or like there's maybe a lot of people that want to talk to you date you get with you hang out with you like a lot of people want to see you and talk to you um i also feel like this pile could be pretty funny too that's something that makes you desirable i feel like you guys are Someone could be an Aries, definitely picking up Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could just be in this, like, earthy kind of energy, um, very grounded. You guys could be, um, very money-focused or money-driven. Some of you could have very successful careers or, um, something about your energy just feels very stable, like, people can depend on you, um also hearing like maybe something with your car or vehicles so some of you may know how to work on vehicles um people may call you or ask you to like fix them or if it's not vehicles it could just be mostly hearing plumbing or like um, something that people use like every day that you like have knowledge of and know how to fix like <laughs> people find you desirable because you could like help them with something or again you have like knowledge of something that um not many people know about or at least maybe some of your friends don't know about or family or something like that what makes pile two so desirable some of you people feel like you sacrifice like a lot of your time or energy or effort to help others um people definitely find that attractive some of you this doesn't really have to do with the topic but some of you may have like been in relationships or um had to deal with people that would kind of maybe use this to their advantage, like they would take advantage of like your giving nature, like you are the type of person that would like sacrifice a lot of your time, maybe your money, energy, effort, you would sacrifice whatever you could for like the people you love, but maybe some of you realized in the past that um, the people that you were doing this for didn't really maybe reciprocate the same kind of energy or some of you this could have been a relationship like someone you were dating you realize that they didn't really feel the same way and they were just kind of taking advantage of you um, someone could also be a Leo or I'm also hearing Aquarius I don't know if I said that oh, we also have Cancer and Capricorn um, people find you to be desirable too because you guys could be maybe a little bit like emotionally disconnected some of you may purposely do that with certain people so that they don't take advantage of you but that is something that makes you desirable because people want to get closer with you on a emotional level 
or at least closer with you, maybe physically too, because some of you may have had to deal with like narcissistic people or like energy vampires because I keep picking up this energy of like people like maybe in the past you didn't have like boundaries so people like want to like take advantage of um you if you have like your own business or something or you would help people maybe financially or something like that like people would want more and more of what you were giving <laughs> Um, and maybe wouldn't, some of you maybe wouldn't pay you back, or, again, j they would just, like, take advantage of it. Um, what also makes you really desirable is you're very hardworking. If you have a goal, like, you'll work towards it till you get it. You're not the type of person that would just give up, like, after a week or two. Um, I'm also picking this up for relationships, too, in your life. Not just, like, love interests, but, like, friendships as well. Like, you're always willing to put in energy and effort, um, to make people happy. But, again, for a lot of you, I feel like you're learning that, um, you need to, like, put your happiness first. Because... Again, I feel like there has been, like, energy vampires or people that want to take all of your <laughs> goodness that you offer. Um, I also am picking up, there could be, you could have a lot of exes that desire you, or currently maybe you're not very focused on relationships. This could be friendships, family love interests, like romance, like you're not really maybe looking to meet new people or anything or like start anything with anyone, you're not looking to like start friendships or anything and people feel like that makes you desirable because like they want to get closer with you, like they want what they can't have. <laughs> Some of you I also feel like you're really good at saving money there's definitely something with your your finances. Your, okay, I'm also picking up your root chakra. Like, some of you may be very desirable because you could have a big. <laughs> you could have a big dick. <laughs> or you could have just something big on your body that people find like really attractive. This could be your ass. you don't have that, people feel like, especially romantic-wise, they feel like you're really good in the bedroom, um, even if, let's say you have something small, like, you know how to work it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm pay okay, back to the exes, or like people from your past, like some people feel like, this is like mostly exes feel like, you may have stayed friends with exes, and they're like, oh, um, maybe they they stayed friends with me because they want to, like, date me again in the future. And I feel like for most of you, like, you don't. So people get, like, the wrong intentions. Or, yeah, like, people assume that you're, like, looking for something more with them when in reality, like, you're not. Um, with this card we have health problems, some of you could be focused on your health, um, some of you may like going to the gym, some of you are just looking to improve your health, looking to improve your life overall, like your money, your, your housing, your health, you want to improve things, like you want to keep working towards improving yourself, and that's something that makes you very attractive, also very desirable too. If you have your own business, or if you do something like on the side and you make cash from it, 
Um, you could have people like come up to you and like ask you how you do that or like how they could do something similar or for some of you you may get people like wanting to maybe join a or like start a business with you or start something with you because they feel like um, you and them would be really successful at it together. I'm also, I keep hearing the name Catherine or someone could have a cat. <laughs> Um, why else is pile two so desirable? I'm hearing just like magic on um, that song by Ariana Grande. So you guys are definitely manifestors. So it's like if you think about something enough, like you tend to manifest it into your reality. Um, some of you may have learned that the hard way, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe someone thought about something kind of negative and then the next day, like, showed up. <laughs> um, but I feel like you guys, yeah, you guys don't just, like, think about what you want. You think about what you want and you take action towards it and that's something that makes you very desirable. So that's what I'm saying for pile two. Hope that resonates. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, link is down below. Bye guys. Tell me what you like about him. You a turned a little thotty, ain't no wife about it. Hello, this is for everyone that chose by three or this image. So clearly we're doing an ASMR video. <laughs> um so we're gonna see why are you so desired, why you're so desirable. And if I look down over here, it's because I have all my cards laid out right here. So sorry about that. Um, but let's get started. So, I feel like for most of you, you could be from Pile 2. Or if you felt drawn to Pile 2 as well, I'd go back. Because I feel like 2 and 3 are like intertwined. <laughs> okay, so what makes you guys so desirable? So right away, I heard someone could really... Um, enjoy cleaning or like to stay organized with things. Some of you may have like planners or you just like having your space nice and clean and like sorted out. You guys could also be um, more of like a logical people like you want to know what's gonna happen, when when's it gonna happen, you want to know like the times for things, you want to just be organized, you want to have a plan, um, you don't, some of you may not like surprises very much, or at least, um, some people feel like you don't maybe like surprises, one of your doesn't like surprise parties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone on here could be a Virgo. We have four, um, swords sword cards out of five so you could clearly be an air sign so Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini um I feel like some of you this could be something that you're just currently starting to do or like you're stepping more into this energy of like speaking up for yourself um you're not gonna deal with people's bullshit <laughs> That's what makes you guys desirable, is you're not gonna deal with people's bullshit, like, if you see someone being sneaky or saying something, or something, you just don't like something, you're gonna fucking say something about it, cause you're just not gonna let that slide. <laughs> Maybe you did in the past, and you're not gonna do that anymore, like, no. <laughs> um, Okay, so we literally have King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Prince of Swords reversed, and we have the Emperor card. Um, someone on here, you could have, um, like, this is only for a few of you, maybe like an ex or someone currently that is like really, they could feel like you're their soulmate, but for some of you, I feel like you don't feel the same way towards them. Like, this could definitely be an ex, like an ex that's a little bit obsessed with you. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, maybe an ex that keeps coming back into your life or someone from your, from your past that keeps coming back into your life. This doesn't even have to be romantic-wise. This could be like a friend that always comes back. Something about this person, though, I feel like they're not very nice or like they kind of want things just their way. They could be a little bit self-absorbed or just, um, like at times you, maybe you do just don't get along the greatest. Uh... Or this could just be someone that you're currently dealing with that you two haven't been really getting along very well. Maybe you both kind of, since they're both sword cards, maybe you both kind of have your guard up with each other. You both are a little defensive. Um, maybe you both are kind of like blocking your heart chakra from one another. Blocking from opening up to one another. Whatever the situa situation is, you could feel like stuck or trapped, like you're not really sure what to do with them or with the situation in general. Okay, I'm hearing the song Thanks for the Memories. I think that's why I panic at the disco. I'm hearing Thanks for the Memories, even though they weren't so great it tastes like you but sweeter <laughs> i feel like now that i have a microphone i get to sing <laughs> oh my god okay anyways um yeah so there could be someone that maybe you didn't have the greatest memories with but this person like really desires you they want to get back into your life um a lot of you, I feel like this is like an ex that wants to date you again. Like, maybe someone that just keeps hitting up your DMs and it's like, enough already. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm kind of in a weird mood because I drank a lot of coffee, so. Anyways. Okay, I'm also hearing um, that, that childhood song, Puff magic dragon <laughs> lives by the sea uh, okay so maybe you or this person may smoke or so you may have like connections to people some of you not judging anyone but could be maybe a drug dealer or t you just have like um, connections to people um, so there's people that want to like hook up with you because they know that you could get them hooked up or like connected with other people. Makes pile three so desirable. I'm also hearing you could give them a discount so maybe you um, work somewhere where you can give people discounts or free things or you could have your own business where you could give like people free services or like you could, like, hook up people somehow. <laughs> okay, uh... For a lot of you, I feel like... What also makes you desirable... You definitely have, like, this... Childish nature to you, so you, you guys can be, like, really serious at times, but then other times... You can, like, step into this childlike energy and like act like a kid maybe do some dumb shit <laughs> but it's funny like you make people laugh I'm also picking up detail oriented um oh yeah this is what I was channeling in the beginning like you guys could be very detail oriented again this could have to do with like the organizing and planning like you want to know the details of things um some of you could be uh, maybe artists or do something where you like to pay attention to the details like you don't want to miss anything um, For others of you as well. I feel like you could be empaths too uh, You pick up on other people's like feelings and emotions without them even having to talk like you could just step into a room And like you know how someone's feeling so that's what makes you really desirable is like 
Um, you like get people, like you don't really even have to talk to them, like you understand like what they've gone through or what they're currently going through just by like the energy that they're giving off. People also feel like you say the right things or like you do the right things. There's a lot of people that reminisce on you though, like about memories that you do had. Or if it's not a lot of people, this could just be going back to that one ex or person from your past that keeps coming back to you. Um, someone could have like red hair or like dark brown hair. Seeing someone playing soccer. And then being really tired afterwards. So that I don't know, maybe play soccer. Um, this is what I got in the last video, or a few videos ago. Someone could literally have a twin, twin sister, twin brother. There's someone that feels like they're connected to you, though. <laughs> um, spiritually, though. Which maybe you are. But for a few of you, like, you're not. Like, this is just someone that really desires to be in your life, but you don't feel the same way. You guys could also enjoy being outdoors or doing things outdoors. People also feel like you like going on adventures or trying new things, trying different foods, um, visiting different places, like you're... You like doing different things. People feel like it would just be a lot of fun to hang out with you. Okay, down here we have ignoring emotions, new jobs, sad over next, open to the unknown, and blockage. Some of you, you could have like people from your past blocked, and these are the people that desire you. They desire to get back into your life because they miss what you two had. Together. This could even be like a group of friends that you blocked. Like, this group of people like miss you. They see you glowing up, they see you moving on, and they just want to be a part of it. Something about clouds. Maybe you're seeing like images in clouds or visions or something. Keep hearing that Panic of the Disco song. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> okay, I just looked at my ukulele, so someone maybe plays a ukulele or you play an instrument. I feel like you guys can also be really romantic as well. Passionate. I'm hearing passionate sex. So you guys could have very passionate sex with someone, that's what makes you desirable, or people feel like you'd be very passionate in the bedroom, um, you would definitely please, oops, you would definitely please your partner and make sure, like, they're good, like, in the bedroom. Something about dates, too. People may want you to take them out on dates, or I really get a lot of people from your past like desire you, desire to be back into your life again. And for some of you, like you don't want that to happen. Yeah, you guys, for some of you, are like trying to have your own new beginning, trying to have a fresh start. Some someone on here could have even. Um, be living, like, off-grid, like, where no one can find you, like, maybe you cut off family, or you just cut off everyone, and you moved out to the middle of nowhere, or that could be something that you want to do, I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing for pile three, hope that resonates, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, link is down below, bye guys. Well, tell me what you like about him. You a turtle, little thotty, ain't no wife or 